Good morning once again. How are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, that's good. So you will have to do this tutorial very fast. Uh, next week is the scheduled to, uh, test two, isn't it? Is the test two next week? Okay, so we have to do this fast. We have uh, combined. I combined the um, inductance calculation and capacitance calculation together in this tutorial. So for each and every tutorial I have there are eight tutorials. It ranges from single phase to three phase and single circuit to double circuit to bundle conductors having two conductors to four conductors to eight subconductors for each phase. So we'll do that quickly. And you must not waste time. Is follow me quickly. So the first one is saying it's a single phase transmission line. I'll put these slides on the on the Moodle website. Just I didn't put it if I need to do small typos corrections. After that I'll put it hopefully by today. So it's a single phase transmission line. It has two conductors because one is supplied, the other one is return, and it's operating at 50 hertz. The voltage is not given. What is given there? The diameter of each conductor is two centimeter, and the distance between them, meaning, meaning the supply path and return path, or we can say uh, phase and neutral is three meter. We have to find out the inductance of each conductor and capacitor neutral. And it's a very small and easy one that uh, you always used to start with. So how do we start? We start what is given there. Diameter of each conductor you must write first. Eh? Diameter of each conductor D, you can say small D is two centimeter. From there you can calculate radius. Convert to meter eh? weekly. Okay, just to let you know, and I was marking the test one, people were not writing anything. They were writing D is two centimeter. D is what? I don't know. People are writing, for example, R is something. R is what? R is radius or R is resistance? It has to be written, otherwise, you lose mark. Nobody takes those things seriously until or unless the variables are defined or declared. If I say R is resistance or R is radius, I don't know. If you don't write it down clearly. So, from next time, everything must be written clearly in the solution otherwise people don't understand so that's the radius and what is we have spacing between the conductors is capital D it is many meters three meter and see it can you see me because it's hiding this this font size there Three meter. Is it three meter? Can you please tell me how many? I also can't see it. You can't see it. three meter is fine. So it's three meter. So from there we can calculate the inductance R phase. For each conductor. In this case, you can see inductance of each conductor because there is a phase here, it will come there. L is 2 times into the power minus 7. You must remember all this formula all the time. Log D. 
var r prime we know d and r prime is equal to 0 0.7788 times r calculate the l quickly and tell me is henry per meter inductance is in henry per meter so calculate that l and quickly tell me a is that a not henry it it has to be henry per meter it can't be henry only is take note of the unit it cannot be henry only it has to be henry per meter the unit has to be henry per meter please check please check if everyone is getting the same answer or not it's not matching okay i have two different answers 1.191 to the power minus six the other one is 1.89 to the power minus seven which one is the correct one In the first one can anybody else confirm that 1.19 thank you we will get the correct one so we get the inductance of each conductor now we have to find out the capacitance to neutral so we go check for the capacitance to neutral write it like cn if you remember c is the capacitance n is for capacitance to neutral and for that formula is 1 over 15 times into the power 9 sorry into the power 9 times log p over r this is capacitance calculation you must always remember that in capacitance calculation there will be no r prime it will be r directly it will be r directly so the unit is farad per meter what's the value we know d we know r we can calculate farad per meter 1 over 18 times 10 to the power 9 times log p over r all these things in the denominator one is at the numerator everything is at the denominator so we have 9.74 to the power minus 12 farad per meter i need to confirm others what they're saying so we got one confirmation Luto is also saying the same thing saying the same thing thank you very much i am uh, keeping the answer or the part of the solution here on the screen for now for one minute if someone couldn't complete then after one minute i'm going to the next one Okay, I can go to the next one now. Next one is a three-phase line. You can see it says that it's a three-phase line. It's operating at 50 hertz. The spacing between the conductors are given between A and B, three meter. Between B and C, it's five meter. And C and A, it's 3.6 meter. So spacings are different in between A, B, and C, they are different, they are not the same everywhere. AB is 3 meter, between B and C is 5 meter, between C and A is 3.6 meter. So it's unequal, travel, sorry, uh, unequal spacing and uh, impedances or the rear inductances will be different, but what we do, we equalize them. Why? the use of transposition so in this case we will assume that the equivalent distance will be used so the radius the first thing is that radius is given here. 
calculate uh, the DS from the conductor diameter is 20 millimeters. So the radius R will be 10 millimeter will be equal to the point zero one meter. Is that right? Is that right? Radius. We'll convert that into meter because we want to keep the same unit. It will be because the a b b c c a log b by r b by r is b is in meter. Then we also convert that r to meter so that they cancel each other. Coming to that one now r now we need the d and we have d a b. Uh, d a b. So can you see the big screen now? Ooh. How do I see the okay D A V is given. I need to write it once again. So D A V write it just like that because I, what I tried it didn't work. D A V is three meter D B C is you should write it like subscript. D B C is five meter D C A is three point six meter. You can find out the equivalent delta spacing we keep call it equivalent delta spacing between the conductors the phase conductor because it is three phase line we call it equivalent delta spacing equivalent is equal to the mean mean means all those three distances where we have the three distances three times five times three point six and then we take the power of the group here because we have three distances we multiply three distances we take corresponding roots that's why i was always saying that the corresponding we have three distances we take the corresponding group meaning we have cube root so that should be equal to how much how many meters will be the equivalent delta spacing between the phase conductors? Three point seven seven meter. Now, when we have equivalent spacing between the three point uh, between the phase conductors is three point. Yeah, the last part is is gone because of this. Last part is okay. I, let me write it down once again. Then let's write it down here because uh, this is how this it, it doesn't allow you to write uh, all the things. E equivalent is equal to three times five times three point six the power one over the cube root which is 3.77 meter and when we have that we can calculate the tens of each phase conductor it's the same formula l is equal to 2 times 10 to the power minus 7 you must be now very fluent in doing these things log the equivalent over R prime and find out the value R prime is again 0.7788 R 1.24 times 10 to the power minus 6 Henry per meter uh, minus 1.24 10 to the power minus 3 Henry per meter 
summation is saying 1.098 to your minus 6, which one is correct? 1.23 into your minus 6 should not be so different. Three different answers. Take it quickly. 1.24 into the power minus 6 is almost 2. Luto and Cizoe, they are saying the same thing. Sahil, 1.236 is the same thing. Timira, I got the last answer meaning uh, 1.236. 1.236 everyone got it now we should get it simple so that's the inductance now we can go the capacitance calculation capacitance to neutral again it's the same formula one over 18 times 10 to the power 9 times log equivalent over r again i'm repeating there is no r prime so 1 over 18 times 10 to the power 9 times log d and in this case d is the equivalent so the three distances are different so we chose a mean distance so that we can assume that the inductances for each phase will be the same. So when you get CN, you tell me what is the uh, value of CN 9.36. Is everyone getting that? Nakonke is saying yes, Sahil is saying yes, Jacker is saying yes, Izo is yes, Timira, last time what was there? Luto is also saying that that's good. Thank you very much. So we have CM. Now if we go to there is a part here. Also find out the total reactive sorry, before that charging current per phase. We have to find out two sections are still outstanding in this one charging current per phase and the total reactive power the voltage is given here so charging current per phase we have to find out to find out the charging current per phase is if i am writing the formula for charging current per phase if you remember when you, when you say that we have a transmission line and when we apply voltage to the transmission line it will immediately draw some charging current that is what we are calculating at the moment charging current per phase is equal to we write it like uh, this i ch 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 is for charging current or you could write only c for charging but i am writing ich is for charging current i is for current ph for per phase okay and the formula is easy p says phase over xn p phase over xn so what is v phase v phase is pl and i think the l is not uh, subscript it has to be subscript uh, line voltage vl the voltage or you could write vll line to line voltage over three find out the VN and XN, how you find out XN, XN is equal to 1 over Y is pi times F, the frequency, times CN. Can you find out how many ampere it will be? ICH charging current per phase. Charging current per phase is V phase over the capacitive reactance. 
positive reactance is 1 over twice by Cg C by so if you put all those things in the equation you should get charging current per phase Six seven nine seven eight six one nine five is it that much? Is it XN? Jakari, did you write the XN or did you write the charging current per phase? Mandarin is like 2.214 to the power minus 7 MPR. Should be again MPR per meter. Eh? Should be always per unit length. In this case, is meter. So I will 2.24 to the power minus 4 MPR per meter. What is different to Sumendran answer? So we should double check. Sumi Sahil Swan is looking to be a correct one, but I need to verify. Yes, Trimira is also saying the same thing. Trimira, you don't write meter as capital M, although I'm writing subscripts as, as like a, a whole letter. It should not be like that. Meter we write small m, isn't it? Busi is saying 10 to the power minus, Amanda is saying 10 to the power minus 7. How are you getting this different answer? Check it. Maybe you didn't consider the voltage is in kilovolt, 132 kV, VPS, V line actually is 132 kilovolt. Are you forgetting to consider that? Are you forgetting to consider that? The voltage is in kilovolt, so when you're considering that, yeah, so 2.24 is the, in times 10 to the power minus 4 is the correct one. So thank you. So I, we have charging current part phase, one answer we got. The next one is uh, total reactive volt ampere, the line per kilometer. Now we have to find out the volt ampere per kilometer, not per meter. Eh? So, Total reactive power. So total reactive power. So okay. The total reactive power or as we said well, I'm writing it for you to remember so that we don't get confused and make mistakes. So total reactive power or sometimes we call total reactive volt ampere VA is simple three phase line so three volt ampere so voltage is there ampere is there so what will be three phase times I touching current per phase so I CH CH so you can find it out and it has to be now in Per kilometer, so it will be per kilometer. I need to convert that into kilometer. From meter to kilometer. Fifty-two, fifty-one point two one. 51.21 looks okay to me. I need to get yes. 51.259, 51.21. good. Well said. The correct answer. Sumendra next one is a bit wrong. Can you please check? Someone else has some correct answer, more answer.
but shouldn't it be kilovolt? How are you converting it to per kilometer? Can you tell me? Were you going from per meter to per kilometer? How are you converting it? When are you going from per meter to per kilometer? How are you doing? No, to multiply. You don't divide it by 10 to the power minus 3. You multiply if it is for one meter, like you imagine a resistance or impedance or inductance. Inductance is one ohm. Sorry, inductance in one Henry for one meter. So how long it will be? Hey, how much it will be for one kilometer? It will be more. It will be more per meter to per kilometer. It will be more. 1,000 meter. It will be 1,000 times more. Now you check the answer and tell me whether it should be kilovolt. And maybe that value 51.259 correct. But yes, 51.219 is now correct. Yes, one kilometer is 1,000 meter, so you multiply 51.206 volt ampere per kilometer. That is the correct one if you want to get it. Get your answer. I'm not going to the next one until or unless you have got it correct. I will wait for you. The correct answer looks like that 51251206 volt ampere per kilometer. That looks like the correct answer to me. I just need to verify it from you all. Check if you have considered it correctly. First place, probably you were considering that. The voltage was in kilovolt, you forgot that part. And now when you're converting to kilometer, from meter to kilometer, you have to multiply what you have by 1,000. So the answer should be 51206 or something like that. 51259, those answers are 51.259. That should be kilovolt. Take it. Where is Umeshan, Trinira, Solo, Ndunge? Where, where are you? What is happening? You got the other answers very quickly. Chakari. Yeah, 51213, that's correct. Yeah, Solo, what's, what's your answer? Yeah, 51213278 looks okay. I need you all to get the same answer. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Two more people must tell me that they got the same answer. I want to want three volt MPR per kilometer. I want two more to confirm this answer. Thank you. Srimira got it. One more at least. Thank you very much. So we can go to the next one. So you can see how things change and how our calculations change. And like I said, we cannot afford to make any mistake here because if we have this wrong value, total reactive power or the wrong charging that we use, not only that we are going to stop here. In electrical engineering, in power engineering, one thing I have learned, there is no stopping. And I am getting the, 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 I'm getting the capacitance to neutral, or I'm calculating the charging current per phase, or I'm calculating the reactive power per phase, or the total reactive power, then I'm done. No, not like that. These values will be utilized in the next steps. 
and whatever we get in the following states will be utilized in the following states. So they go on and on. So if we make some mistakes in the first place, everything will be a disaster. We must always make sure that they are correct. Okay, thank you, Sibusi, so as well. So we got it now. So we can go to the next one. Next one is a little different. It says it's a single phase line, but for each phase, meaning phase and neutral, each side, supply and return path, they have two conductors. Supply side is made of two conductors, A1 and A2. In previous cases, we have at one conductor. But in this case now, we have two conductors. Like I said, in some cases, we increase the current carrying capacity by adding more conductors per phase. So we have two conductors here. So A1 and A2 and B1 and B2, they are the return path. You can say that's the neutral and A1 and A2 is the phase path. And the distances are shown there between A1 and A2 also. A2 and B2. The same distance will be between A1 and B1 and also B1 and B2 because it's forming a rectangular configuration. So what else is given there? Diameter of each conductor is 25 millimeter. Diameter, all, all the conductors are having the same diameter, 24. We don't normally use different diameter for different conductors. We use the same conductor diameter. And we try to keep the distances to be same. If not possible, then it becomes different. So in this case, it's the same. So how do we calculate these things? We know that the formula of inductance is L is equal to Tens per phase instead of saying of a phase, you can this L L dot two times into the power minus seven that we know. And then we know that after that, what comes log d by r, right? And in this case, it's mutual and self. D is the mutual and r is the self. So we write it here. We write here dm for mutual distance and ds, ds for self distance. So we need to get the dm and ds. Dm is the mutual distance and ds is the self distance. How do we calculate it? Dm is the mutual distance or the distances between the conductors of supply and return. So, me, bit that way, start here. Dm is the mutual, we call it mutual geometric distance and that will be equal to what we start with how do we calculate I, I remember that I told you when I was doing the theoretical part describing how it is coming with the formula how do you consider all those distances if it's not clear it will become clear it has to become clear now when you doing it clear so mutual distance is the distance between these conductor and those conductors. So all the distance between these conductors and that, that conductor there. Yeah. So what are the distances here? So we can see that I start with the first one. So A1 and 1. So we write that one. So we call it DA1 and 1. So that's the first distance between A1 and B1. So distance DA1 and B1 is the distance between. So the next one is A1 and B2. So D A1 B2. So all the distances corresponding to the conductor A1 is done now. Is that clear? We took the first conductor A1 and then find out all the distances with the other conductors here. So what are the other conductors here? Two conductors here. So on distance between this one and that one is written on A1. And the distance between this one and this that one is D1, D2. Done. Now we can come to the second conductor, which is 
a2 so b a2 a2 to what b1 and a2 to b2 b a2 to b2 so we have all the four distances can you see that now it covered all the distances that are involved in this mutual geometric distance calculation is everyone okay with this if not you must tell me make sure that you understand this clearly without any confusion you get all the four distances how we calculated we took the first conductor a1 for the distances a1 b1 and a1 b2 and we are done then we can go to the second conductor which is a2 and what are the distances a2 to b1 and a2 to b2 we got all the distances is that clear to everyone someone else can confirm okay, now we have to take the corresponding route we multiplied all those four distances within the circular bracket we multiplied all those distances within the circular bracket what we need to do now the, in the next step is the corresponding group and corresponding group comes from the number of terms inside the bracket how many terms we have we have four terms that we multiplied so the power will be one over four right Is it clear? Is it clear to everyone? That's good. So you can calculate the value and tell me. The, the dimensions are given in the diagram. You tell me what is Tm now. You know da1 b1 which is given two meters a1 b2 is the diagonal you can calculate then a2 to b1 a2 to b1 is the diagonal you can calculate a2 to b2 is straight given two meters so you put all those values and tell me what is the value of dm how many meters Two point one one. Amanda got it. Sahil got it. Umesan got it. Thank you very much. That's the correct answer. You also got it. So two point one one meter. That's perfect. We got dm. Now we have to calculate ds in self geometric distance. And in this case, we will consider two distances like capacitance. Calculation doesn't need R prime, it needs only R. And for inductance calculation, we need R time. We will say DS, S is for sales and L for, this SL should be subscript. SL should be subscript. Let's see if it works. Ah, oh, goodness, no, it didn't. And So we will calculate DSL. That is, I have to try that one now. Somewhere else, DSL is for inductance calculation the self geometric distance, self geometry distance for inductance calculation. It is DSL is what self mean? This is the cell, or that is the cell, they are same. Meaning it's the supply path conductors, all the distances, or the mission path conductors, all the distance. Choose either one. 
thousand meter so they're same in diameter and same distance between them two meter sorry one meter here one meter there as well so you can choose either one so how do we do it now we take all the distances it's the same self dsl mean for inductance calculation so what do you have to do you have to take all the distances so the first conductor is a1 so what will happen b a1 a1 its own distance a1 a1 is self distance and then can go to the next conductor which is a2 so d a1 a2 we took the first conductor which is a1 so what is its own self distance is a1 a1 so d a1 a1 and then we go to the next conductor which is a2 so d1 d a1 a2 now we done with conductor a1 we can go to the conductor a2 if we go to the conductor A2, what, what will happen? What is its self distance? D A2 to its self distance is D A2 A2. That's how we write it. So D A2 A2. And from D A2 A2, we go to the next one, A2 to A1. So D A2 to A1. So we now have all the four distances within the group, meaning the self conductors. And again, we have to consider the corresponding root, how many distances we have within the circular bracket. Again, it's 4, so we will take the corresponding root, 1 over 4. And if we put all those values, the A1, A1 is R prime. The D A1, A1 is R prime. D A1 to A2 is 1 meter. And then the A2 to A2 is also R prime. And the A2 to A1 is also 1 meter. And then we take corresponding root 1 over 4. And R prime is what? We can, we can simplify it now. What will happen? Let's say R prime. Power what two meters is now simplified form. Is that okay now to everyone? Is that okay? Do you understand how we got it? you can tell me what is the value of SL now that will be used for inductance calculation. 0 0.0987, which is correct. I need to get the same answers from others. 0 0.0987. Someone also got it, 0.09867, which is correct. Isuzu got it. Who else have the answer? Luto got it. I need two more answers at least. Two more people, two of you must give me the answer. I also got it. One more at least. Yes, it's becoming hard because there were two 
at times R prime squared, and then you're taking one for root. Don't get it. Okay, do you, you do it whatever you, you can. You can keep them as they are. R prime times one times R prime times one. You do it as you as you can do, as you understand it. It's not that it would be complicated. Is it clear to everyone now? I wanted one more answer. Quickly. In long one more answer confirmation that you are getting it. the power half this becomes square root anyone else okay so that's the ESL for inductance calculation now we have to find out BSC meaning the self distance, self geometry distance or capacitance that C is for indicating the capacitance and it's easy we don't have to redo all those stuff we have already the expression half prime to the power half so we just can say it will be R to the power half straight away won't be r prime it will be r only what will be the value simple and easy and you see if i have dsl the geometric the self geometric distance for inductance calculation which is always r prime related and when i want to do the same calculation self geometric distance for capacitance calculation, it will be R only, not R prime. We straight the same formula that we derived. We will go there, and we will remain as everything same. Only the R prime will go off zero. I go. How come R to the power? <laughs> R to the power. 0.5 becomes your 0.112. Two more answers very quickly. Three seconds. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. So when we have D M, we have D S L, D S C. We can calculate L if we know the formula. Two times 10 to the power minus. 7 log entire I type their log m over the SL for inductance calculation the R meter what's the answer
What's the answer for inductance surface? Six point one two ten to the one minus seven. Six point one three ten to the one minus seven. Correct. Two more quickly. Two more answers. Two more of you is six point one two nine ten to the one minus seven. One more at least. And that's so we have a chance we can calculate the capacitance to neutral. Tends to neutral. Tn is the same formula 1 over 18 times 10 to the power of 9 times log in this case ds. C, we write it like subscript DSC over B. DM over DSC. There are par. Yeah, thank you, Tremira, as well. So what will be the answer for this capacitance to neutral? Again, it's the same formula. 1 over 18 times 21, 9 times log dm over dsc. Yes, we have it. Cell geometry distance for capacitance calculation. A lot of spelling mistake on the screen. One point eight nine times twenty one minus eleven farad per meter. <coughs> Who else has some answer like that? Kimira got the same. Nishan got the same. Two more quickly. Ah, Sibu Siso, Dunge Siso got the same. Thank you very much. Do you, do you want a break? Do you know how come it's different? Okay, you uh, have pico farad. Okay, first of all, you don't unnecessarily go to other unit if you don't have to. Because if you try that and you got it, you understand, like what we do in this during time. If we have to go somewhere, we go there. If we don't have to go, we don't go. It's natural rule that is always there in our lives, everywhere. We don't go there. Understand? So if we ask you what is the capacitance to neutral in picofarad per meter, then you go to that. Otherwise, you don't need to. Do you need a break? I'm okay to continue, but if you want a break because it's almost an hour, okay, you don't understand the DSL, the power part. Power part is how many distances are there. Power part is easy. Look at the distances that are multiplied inside the circular bracket. How many distances are there? Count them. Then you take the corresponding one over that n. If there are n number of terms that you multiplied within that circular bracket, then the power will be one over n. If there are four terms, it will be one over four. If there are ten terms, that you multiply it will be 1 over 10, simple. Then you do your way. You don't have to follow the way I simplify or way I make it easy. You do it after that, your way. After you take all the distances very carefully, and then you count how many of them are there, and then take the corresponding root. If there are 20 terms, 1 over 20, simple. Is that OK? Okay, uh, I'll come after five minutes, six minutes. 
from now take a break thank you very much okay yeah, thank you very much so it's the same thing yeah but <coughs> the configuration is different test compared to the other one we have two conductors for each phase running supply part and return part you are need to which was the previous case as well you are need to is for main turn part the distances are given there from center to center is horizontal configuration for a1 to a2 and b1 to b2 you have to find out the inductance surface and capacitance to neutral so diameter of each conductor is given we can write down that much 5 mm calculate radius r r 0.5 mm Convert it to meter. Right. Is that okay with everyone? Not be any problem. After that, we'll go and calculate the mutual. geometrical running distance again as it is horizontal we can calculate it straight away which is p a b is two meter right now after that we can go calculate the self distances if can be for in the hands calculation esl b what those distances between A1, A2, and A1. So D A1, A1 times D A1, two times D A2 times sorry D A2, A2 times D A2, A1. and then we take corresponding root, which is one over four. Should get self GND for the test calculation. You can calculate and tell me the value of DSL. What is the value of DSL?
about the same that's good someone else anyone else got the same answer Yeah, Amanda got the same. Will says the same answer. One more quickly. One more answer from you so that we know that we're getting the correct one. That's good. Thank you. So we can calculate DSC now. The positive calculation. And what capacitance calculation? It is the same equation dA1, A1 times dA1, A2 times dA2, A2 times dA2, A1. And for the previous equation here, dA1, A1 was R prime, dA2, A2 was R prime. And those will be simply R. So R prime. If dA1, A1, was R prime, the A2, A2 was R prime as well. But for capacitance calculation, those will be R, not R prime. So what will be the DSC value now? Tell me the DSP value quickly. Amanda zero five five nine. Amanda, Trinidad, Dubo, Sanelise, Nissan, got the same 0559. Okay, thank you. Anyone Okay, <clears throat> when we have DSC, DSL, we have DM, so we can calculate L and we can calculate CL. Calculate these two and tell me the answer L and CN. Two minutes for two answers L and CN. Tell me the answer quickly. L and CN. The same formula that we are using. No difference. No difference. It's the same thing. Nobody got the answer yet. 
not take more than one minute. To calculate L or take to calculate CN. What is happening now? Tell me the answer. I want to do a bigger one now and finish that one today. So please help me to go there first. Seven point four one ten to the power minus seven. Anyone else? Seven point four ten to the power minus seven. Anyone else? Quickly, that's L value. <coughs> that's good. So let's go for the CN capacitance to neutral. Thank you. <clears throat> so we have the L and C and can we go to the next one, next tutorial? Can we go to the next one? Okay, thank you very much. So this is <coughs> An example of a three phase and double circuit. And you can see three phase how it is coming here. If we see three phase on the third configuration on one side of the tower, this is where the tower is, and that is where the other <coughs> circuit A prime, B prime, C prime is for the second circuit. And the geometrical distances between them are shown um, between C and A prime. It's six meter at the bottom, which is one. Uh, they will be the same up there. B prime and A, <coughs> and also the distance between center to center always there. Between B and B prime is nine meter, and the vertical distance between A and B is three meter. Same between B and C three meter. It will be the same on the either other side, which is C prime. prime and a prime b prime which is also three meter all the distances are shown there so we have to find out the inductance per phase and capacitance to neutral again it's the same thing so what we have to do now we need to know the dm and dsl dsc these are the three things that we need to find out we need to find out dm find out dsl we need to find out DSC. So let's do the DM part. Well, DMB. How do we calculate it? The general formula is the AB times the BC. We'll write the AB BC as subscript. Huh? Let me put underscore here. AB BC B. A, and we have three distances, so we'll take corresponding root. Is that clear? DAB, DBC, DCA, and we take corresponding, that's for GMD, mutual, DM, and now DAB. Mean all the mutual distances between A and B. All the mutual distances between A and B. So what is there between A and B? To find out AB, there is AB prime, 
b prime a there is b prime a prime so what we have there or b a to b we have b a to b or the distances between a and b so a to b prime and we have a prime to b prime and a to b prime Does it make sense to you? These are all the distances between A and B in DAB. This DAB that you see here is actually this. Clear? So A to B, A to B prime. And then we go to B prime A, B prime A prime. Is that clear? got that a b now now we have b c so multiplication sign so for b c we start with the alphabet so b b c b b c prime then b b prime c times b b prime c prime and again the power is one over four so that's pbc capital pbc meaning all the distances between b and c is that clear <laughs> that's the bc similarly we have to do the ca so multiplication sign in B C to A times B C to A prime times B C prime to C prime A times D C prime a prime and then again power is one over four and we're done with all three distances i'm closing the final bracket and then the power is one third you remember that one third yeah does it make sense to you or is too complicated that's why i wrote it in in separate for each of them the a b first one all the distances between a and b and then corresponding root then i wrote each last part okay, so you see the dab right can see the DAB. The DBC you don't see. FCA you don't see. So let me write here DBC. DBC is really equal to, you can write them separately as yeah. So it will be DBC, the distance, and then the DBC prime times b c prime b times b c prime b prime and then we take corresponding root which is 
ABC. Is that okay now? And then you can write that is CA. Separate equation, then you can put them together in the BM equation. So it will be what? D C A times D C A prime times D C prime A times D times A prime then root one over four. Is that okay now? D A B was there. Then we wrote DBC separately. You can write it that way. It will make it easy for you or separate separate equation. It won't become too long. So DAB, DBC, DCA, write them separately and then you can put them together, all those values. Now, all these distances that you see here, DAB, DAB prime, DB, A prime, DB, A prime, A prime, A prime, all those distances need to be calculated here. AB is the dish distance. So you need to know this vertical distance. You know this distance is 9 meter, this is 6 meters, so this will be 1.5 meters, 1.5 meter that size, so 1.5, 1.5, it will be giving you 3, this 3 and 6, it will give you 9. So this is 1.5, this is 3, you can calculate AB. Similarly, all those distances will come from there. Is that clear? Everyone got it. You don't have to calculate it now, but understand the equation. I will ask you the answer tomorrow in the morning. Everybody got the expression of DAB, DC, CA. How we wrote it for mutual GND. Can you confirm that you understand that equation? Here yeah, for three distances between A and B, B and C, C and A. So that's the M. Thank you. So if we are done with that, we can go for DSL. M type of thing and take anyone. Or we can multiply them with the same. Let's okay. So mutual GMD is the distances that are there between all the three phases. It's three phases A, B, and C. Three phases. So we have to take the distances between A and B, B and C, C and A. All the three distances. So we take all the three distances D A B. BC, DCA. So how many distances we have? We have three distances. We multiply them. We take corresponding. So the power is one over three. Done. Now what is DAB? DAB itself is the mutual distances between all the A and Bs. So DAB, DAB prime, DB prime A, DB prime A prime. These are all the distances between A and B. There are no other distances between A and B. In the diagram. So when you are done with all those distances, we take corresponding loop. Meaning how many terms are there? There are four terms. So we take the power to be one over four. It will be the same thing for DBC. So the distances will be between B and C only. So B C B prime C B prime C prime C prime B. That's all. Similarly, D C A. When you have got those D A B D B C D C A, we put them in the main equation of D M, and they know that final value. Well, once we have all those values that are calculated from the geometry of the transmission line, some are given, some needs to be calculated. For example, A B needs to be calculated. A B can be calculated from the right angle triangle, three meter vertical distance, and then it will be 1.5 meter. You can calculate. Is that okay? So for DSL, it will be 
similar e s l a times d l b the distance of a so the distance of b d s l and distance of c and then we take corresponding group we have three terms there inside so it's one third now dsl a dsl sorry dsl a i'll write it separately yeah What the DSL equation let me know, then I can write the DSL A. DSL A meaning all the self distances of A. So what will come there? E A A. It's all. So A, all the A's. In here we have A and A prime. These are all A's. Nothing else. We have self distance of a times e a to a prime these are the distances between a now we're done with this conductor we go to that one so a prime a prime its own distance self distance times d a prime to a if it makes sense to you and corresponding root is 1 over 4. Distance ESLA is it clear to everyone? Take it if you understand, let me know. If you don't, let me know as well. That is DSLA. Similarly, we can calculate DSLB. DSLB. What will happen? All the distances between B. So, B. We have B conductor. So, B, B, B times D, B2. We have a B prime. B, B2, B prime. And then, go to B prime conductor D. B prime B prime and then D B prime to B and again we have four distances D B B B to B prime B prime B prime one distance and B prime to B Clear. We put the values later on first. It to get the equation right. The clear. Let me know. Okay, so we can go to D S L C. It will be the same thing. D C C C D C conductor its own distance. So C two C prime two C prime. And then go to C prime conductor. And conductor its own distance C prime C prime. Then C prime to C conductor. Then we are done. We take the corresponding root. Done. SLC. So all these three distances, DSL, A, B, C, we can calculate DSL. That we used for L calculation. From DSL, we will use only R. 
of prime will get ds and we will use that dsc to calculate it is text formation cn calculate the cn dsc will be used to calculate the cn and dsl will be used to calculate the l so we'll calculate these two and Tomorrow you will tell me the value of DM, you will tell me the value of DM, you will tell me the value of DSL, you will tell me the value of DSC, you will tell me the value of L, you will tell me the value of CN. Five answers. Is that okay?